Hello guys, welcome to Inside Electronics. In my last episode, I'll show you guys what is inside a TO3 transistor package like this one. And I already also mentioned that instead of just throwing away these useless components, why don't we just make something useful out of it? So in today's episode, I'm going to show you exactly that. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make your own solder port by using nothing but a transistor cap like this one so a solid port is something a device that you know that that has a port like this one it since sits inside a machine electronic tem uh, temperature controlled heating machine and you put solder inside and it just floods it with solder and it's molten solder so when whenever you want to desolder something you just take the circuit board dip that inside and just like that you can simply desolder components from it and to buy a proper soldering port it is really expensive so with what we have let's build one ourselves for this you only need a transistor a TO3 transistor like this you need to take apart the top can and you need a soldering iron and this is exactly what I did right here as I as you can see already I'm using a regular standard 25 watt soldering iron and I removed the tip the soldering and tip and I used the top of a transistor I just used a steel wire to actually make a knot around and I just wound it across so it, it can be easily removed by pulling it away and I use regular leaded solder that is filled with flex and I just plug this soldering iron to the power socket it heats up everything and I just dump the whole lot of solder inside and everything more uh, got melted and it is now looking like this a solid piece of lead that fills the entire thing I don't have a weighing scale otherwise I should have shown you how much this thing weigh by now anyways I hope you got an idea about how this thing can be designed by your own and the black thing you see over on top is the flex that is inside the lead soldering lead you know a lot of soldering lead usually comes with solder flex inside on it that is called a flex cord solder so when you actually dump the solder into this hot can you're going to see a lot of smoke being uh, coming from this thing that is because the flex is just melting away and this thing is so tough that you cannot just you cannot even scrape away the if I focus on it you cannot even scrape away the solder with a screwdriver like that it is so hard and the only way to actually get rid of the solder is to dump some uh, copper or uh, PCB some useless PCB inside so the flex will actually stick onto the PCB it will, the PCB will absorb the flex and you will get a clean uh, thing like this over here and this is a 25 watts iron so I'm going to heat it up and let me show you how this thing works in action so let, I, I'm going to pause for now and I'll be back once this thing is up to its temperature so guys the solder is, has started to melt you can clearly see that action going on here it is solid here that is liquid so the actual melting is happening right in front of you at the moment so I used a wooden support beam to actually support the solder port from being moved around when you actually stick your circuit board inside and I used another piece of metal to support it from the other side so if you decide to make a similar kind of thing by your own you have to actually design some kind of support mechanism for the entire tub so that it won't move around when you actually dip the circuit board inside now the as you can see the entire solder is now in the molten state you can clearly see the molten solder and I'm using the soldering and tip to move around this thing the slug form oh, it's, oh, that is actually hot I mean Ooh, man that is actually hot and you need to find something to actually uh, clean that tip by now and I will 
beep oof that really sold i'll be back once i find some circuit boards to actually desolder with this thing okay guys so i found a circuit board which is from a cfl board and you can see the effect of a high voltage spike see that circuit board there's literally no tracks left in that and this is this happened because of a voltage spike happened in my area last day and it just it not only destroyed my cfl bulb it destroyed my another led bulb it destroyed the original charger of my cell phone and a few couple of other things like a stabilizer and a dvd player and things like that which cannot fit here in the table at the moment so i'm not going to show that but in the few in the following videos you are going to see me tearing down all those things but for now let's just try to desolder some components from this board by the way this cfl board was made from made by a company called edison which is a top man which is a top class manufacturer and you can see the you can clearly see the effects of high voltage spike the voltage was around 400 volts at the when i was you know when i looked at the meter it was actually 400 volts and I, uh, this thing happens so I'm going to dip the bottom side to the molten solder and I'm going to try it you can, I don't know whether you can see it but now I can smell the burning wood and also the uh, the flex is kind of creating a lot of smoke here so I'm going to try to desolder some components using this homemade thing I'm going to dip it like that so that it can actually have some solder I'm going to just try to solve this one with this diode and let's see whether it can do that or not yes there it is there is a diode desoldered now let's try to desolder the capacitor I mean the transistor that, oh, that is hot man have to be extra cautious when you're dealing with high temperature things because things can get really hot and when dipping the transistor inside I'm thinking you know, it's going to take some time because it has to it will eventually come out like like that you can clearly see that thing is like that so it's simple as that you can actually build a really simple soldering uh, desoldering tub that looks like this eventually you will need to fill up this thing with solder because some of them is going to really be taken away by the solder of tracks of the board that you're trying to desolder but still you are getting you are making something from trash